And as the words are heard by unfortunate souls, will those souls rise up and build wondrous things? My name is William Steele. Several years ago, a fight with my father caused me to leave Bridgeport to seek my fortune. I traveled north to the town of Bredon and entered the service of one Lord Bascom, who needed able swordsmen and archers to defend his holdings. Over the years, I faced invaders, local cutthroats, and the unforgiving ice and snow. With everything that's happened, I've all but forgotten what my father and I argued about. So I finally decided it's time to return home. But there's one thing I must do before I leave. A local count named Harkov, a nasty sort, has been bleeding merchants and the gentry alike for protection money. Lord Bascom refused his demands, and Harkov retaliated with a bounty on Bascom's head, a bar of solid gold. No one has made a move yet against Bascom, and I mean to see that no one does. If word were to get out that the gold bar doesn't exist, Harkov's bounty would be worthless. And what better way for it to disappear than for me to steal it out from under the Count's nose? A few coins here and there, and the wailing wolf flushed out a thirsty old taffer who was once part of Harkov's household. He drew me some fair maps of the place while going on about it being a restored builder church, even warned of ghosts. His tale was most interesting, though the thought of encountering ghosts freezes my blood. I'll wait till the sun goes down, then slip in through an old escape tunnel, part of the original church. I need to keep an eye out for Harkov's lieutenant, a rough fellow named Trumbull. Or it is, though, that he's getting on in his years, so maybe he won't be a problem. The gold bar, and whatever else I can find, will be a nice parting gift from this hard life I've been living up here in the north. Hello, and welcome back to the Dark Mod. I had been saving all of the series of fan missions for the Dark Mod till last, after I'd gotten through all the single ones. So there's a reason why I have not played the William Steele series till now. That's not to say that I'm done with all of the single levels in the Dark Mod. No far from it. But as of recording this, a couple weeks ago, one of the most prolific mappers for the Dark Mod, and at one time, as far as I understand, one of the lead coders, uh, unfortunately passed. His name was Greyman, and while I've only been able to dedicate these Let's Plays to the Dark Mod itself, because not very many people do Let's Plays of Thief or the Dark Mod for some odd reason, um, that's all I've been able to give to the community. And after I saw that he had passed, because somebody had brought it to my attention, um, I might as well keep doing what I've been doing anyway, but at least dedicate this entire playthrough of his series to him and his memory. I, I don't know how to go on from here, I'll be quite honest, because not many people dedicate a let's play in somebody's memory, but I'll try my best 
and hopefully I don't screw up too much along the way. As always, this is William Steele in the North, or at least the first uh, mission. As far as I know, it was planned on being combined into one so that you could play all the way through one after the other. So let's play them through one after the other. Unfortunately, not all in a row, but let's see what we have here. What's the difference? This one was earlier on, so it doesn't surprise me that there's not much difference in the loot, but I'm sure the later ones will be quite much more complex. But anyways, we distilled the gold bar Count Harkov is offering as a bounty for Lord Bascom's head. Abscond, love that word, with 2,000 in loot, do whatever I came to do, and don't kill anybody in the process. And while all objectives are met, return to where I started. Let's do this, shall we? If these are the sewers, they're very dusty. Reminds me more of a crypt. I could be under the house, but... I mean, it might not mean to be, but yeah, more of a crypt. I'll uh, take that, thanks. Didn't have time to go shopping. Ready. Go into the old builder escape tunnel. The vases in the church nave are all we need. Don't bother with nothing else. Nobody will follow you once you get back into the tunnel. They're all scared of what might be in there. Fear is on your side. I'll look you up when I get back from Bridgeport. Then we can split the loot. Wily. Well, that did not go well. We got the vase. Oz vase, whatever. Um, but it did not do him very good at all. Hmm. Well. Yeah, this is grim. What of a way to... Oh, he got more than one. Good thing I came back and looked. What a way to start off a fan mission. That sounds heavy. So, this is the escape tunnel, is it? I do not want to know what's been going on here. Relax. This is... Hello? Okay. This is Welton's. Return it to him. Should he survive? If he doesn't, I'll send it on to his family. One way or another, make sure it doesn't disappear. Else you'll be wishing he never got sick. Lieutenant Trumbull. So it's the lieutenant that's doing this stuff? Uh, hello? Somebody walk around there and see me? I remember I haven't saved till now. Oh, much better. I seriously. Madness. Insanity as everyone knows, is caused by devils that take over the body. To rid thyself of these demons, find a good friend with a steady hand. Give said friend a drill. Drink a great deal of wine. Pass out. Have the friend drill a hole or two in thine head. The demons will rush out of thy body through these holes. Insomnia. If at night thou findest sleep nigh impossible, have a midnight snack. Eat some treacle. Fainting. If thou art falling about in a faint, simply set feathers on fire and breathe in the smoke. Okay, well, the trepanning that you you were talking about in the beginning there does work for severe migraines. You know, the type of migraines that you are... Ooh, what's this? That you're okay with a hole being drilled into your head. You know, to release... The pressure. It's far too late now. I'm going to have to go into the Ah, so it does go to that. Okay. 
All right. What's that? Oh, there's a thing. Shh. Quiet now, you. I'm not hearing the crying anymore. I hope me laying on you doesn't mean anything bad's gonna happen to you when somebody may find you. That would be less than ideal. Alright. Warning! We know not what ails Welton, but best stay away from him till he returns to duty or dies. Damn! I wonder how he got sick. Well, Welton, what you got in here? Doubt he would have a key on him. Wouldn't that be by. Ooh. Sounds like a zombie. It, needs to be really lit. it really does need to be lit. It wasn't him crying, it sounded like a woman. You have fun back there. Odd. I guess she was just coming back to her room. Well. Anybody up here? I mean, it's a little less bleak now that I found the kitchen? Question mark? Ooh, I think I saw. There's a lady over there. Put out the lights. Ooh, apples. Aw. Wish I could put them in my inventory. Why would you throw away apples? I do not understand. So we're making applesauce? Apple, apple juice? This kitchen closes at 7 o'clock. After that, if you want food, get it yourself. Don't come looking for me. If you make a mess, clean it up. If you don't clean it up, I'll have Lieutenant Trumbull after you. You don't want Lieutenant Trumbull after you. Cook. Are you cook up there, lady? Better be careful. She might have a knife. Either you're the cook or you're a necromancer. Bari in the kitchen. It can only be those two. Is somebody there? Yes. She didn't have a knife. I felt brave. Mm. Like this. Put you over by the apple press. And there's a lot of paths from here. I'm getting a little concerned here, ladies and gentlemen. Getting, getting a little concerned. I'm sorry, ma'am. I was not trying to look up your skirt. Anything good? Aha! Far too much freaking light in here. Can I get all these? Ooh, nice. Don't mind if I do. What's cooking? Water. And more water. I mean, at least she's consistent. If that's all that's cooking, then um, I'm probably not going to have problems. Oh, God, raw fish. Finding something to eat. Anything but what the cook is cooking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very fancy and everything, but not what I'm looking for. Whoever's responsible for whatever happened here better clean it up. This is terrible behavior, and the stench is horrible. This shouldn't happen in a house as fine as this. You couldn't use a bucket? Is my food that bad? Cook. Well, all you're cooking is water right now, so... Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Literally the one without a bucket. There ugh. I don't wanna look at Nope. Nope. I'm done in here. Three frickin' holes and you go to the one without a bucket. I I agree. These people are horrible. They should be castrated. At least. Alright, uh did I come up from here or is this Yes, I came up from here. 
I guess there's no traditional basement. Harrow. Anybody here? This place feels oddly empty. Even though I've come across people, it feels really empty. It could just be me. Just in case somebody comes in. Teresa, Lady Isabella will be staying in the blue room on the second floor for a few days. Be sure to clean the room before she arrives. Lord Sylvester did not leave it in a fit state when he left. If there's any blood left on the rug, be sure to get it all out. Mr. Whitcomb. The hell did Lord Sylvester do? Dear Lord. Teresa. I'm glad you hid my last year's wages on the windowsill in the inner courtyard. Ain't nobody but you could get up there. We'll leave this place when spring comes. Loves and kisses. Uh-oh. Sounds like there's problems in paradise. Savings note. Teresa, I finally saved enough to free myself from this life. I hid it in the rafters above the church altar. Nearly fell doing it. I'm writing to myself. Okay. That's not how I want to leave this place. Trummels agreed to let me attend Saturday's execution. While everybody's watching the thief hang, I'll slip away. If something happens to me before Saturday, the purse is yours. Be careful retrieving it. I'll always remember you. Me. If something happens to me before Saturday, the purse is yours. But if you're writing to yourself... I, what? Am I missing some very important context there? <laughs> 215. I'm in love with Hugh Welton, but it seems I've attracted the attention of two others. I must not encourage them since my heart belongs to Hugh. A new maid has replaced Katrina, poor dear who fell to her death in the northwest stairwell. Mary's her name. On her first day, I caught the Count staring longingly at her. What does he see in her? She's on the homely side, dear General, if you ask me. And now I've spied Lieutenant Trumbull looking at Mary. Why? He's old enough to be her father. But his is not a look of desire, it's more a look of pride. Hugh's become very ill, and Wilkins doesn't know if he'll last the week. How can this have happened after I declared my love for him? Oh, dear God, don't take him from me. It's odd that he took sick right after he told me about the key he found on the bell tower stairs. He was on his way to turn it into Lieutenant Trumbull when he crossed the Count's path in the church. The Count fell into a horrible rage when Hugh showed him the key, grabbing it and storming into his chambers. Hugh was right glad to get out of the church with his hide intact. I hope Hugh recovers. The times we spent in his quiet places were wonderful. We would sit, he would show me the pages from the book in the church nave, and he would talk about Mr. Whitcomb, teaching him to read. The attic above the dining room is my favorite. The room at the top of the bell tower is too cold, and the north attic above the front hall is too noisy when Apperton's rattling around below, drinking too much and arguing with the shields. Hugh left one of the torn pages with me, saying I would find it interesting. Magic scares me, though I wish I knew enough of it to dispel Hugh's illness. I don't think that's how that works. Good, I took that. Sounds like there's quite a few locations that I'll need to remember. We've got this bathroom. Hopefully it's not as bad as the other one. Clean, at the very least. Alright, so we have locations for loot, at the very least. Possibly. Aw. Oh. Cook. Lady Isabella will be dining with the 
count tonight. Milady's favorite dish is baked eels. There should be eels in the larder. If they're slick looking snake like ropey things, then we have eels. Okay. And then again, stop using water arrows to douse the cook stove. Those are for the gods. Target practice. And why are they in the kitchen? I mean, I'm glad they're in the kitchen. I'll take them. But... Okay. Hello? Oh, it's just a boiler. It's just the hiss of a boiler. Poor Percival. I'll miss him so. I can't believe his horse threw him. Such a kind beast. And just when we were talking about moving away, Cook has been so kind. She says the Count expressed his sadness when hearing the news of Percival's death and agrees I should rest a bed until I feel better. So thoughtful. The Count may be kind, but he's very strange. He disappears regularly into the chapel, yet no one ever sees him emerge. We must have a nest of mice in the walls. At night I hear strange sounds, like the wind whispering or a branch scratching against a window. I ask the others, but no one else hears these sounds. Lamar is always checking odd corners for rats. I wonder if he could set a few traps. It might take his mind off Katrina's death. I oft find him staring at the same spot where she fell. Seems like there's a lot of hidden valuables. And they're trying to tell me about all of them. I appreciate it. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Well, that boiler is not going to be put out anytime soon. Why would you take the doors up? There? Okay, whatever. Hmm. Got some rope up here. I wanted to climb up there, but whatever. Ah! I think that's where the basement is. Alright. Didn't mean to drop it. better. But let's try to finish up on this floor. Hmm. Overall storage. Uh, can I, can I, thank you. Wasn't able to pick it up at first. Uh, I guess this is where she fell. Do ghosts walk here? Danger! Steps removed. Warning! Do not break these bars. We've already replaced them once when an unfortunate maid had to, too much wine, broke through on the top floor, and fell to her death. Why do I think that's not the case? Why can't I climb through here? There we go. They cleaned up. Is she looking for something in particular? So this is another way up to the next floor at the very least. Let's see. Ow, my head. I guess it's too high up. I haven't even looked at what I have. I do have a rope arrow, but I don't want to use it in here yet. Let's just keep looking around. Hmm. Why was she snooping around? Or was she? <clears throat> there we go. Hello, rats! Be careful, they want to put traps down for you. Go on in, go ahead. There you go. Don't ask to be let back out. I got other things to do. What's this? Supposed to be a safe or something? Nope, it's just a metal box. What's up with a mysterious metal box? Okay. I can't frob this ob, so therefore it must not be important. 
That was close. Oh god. There's nobody in the shadows. Oh, that was far too close. Come back here. It's a center. No. Dick. All right. Well, that was some excitement that we didn't need. But, uh, yeah. Dump this guy out off the corner. I opened that door at exactly the wrong time. I wanted to see if I can pick up your pouch. It did look... I guess not. You will. Are you guys putting out the cheese on purpose? Because you're forgetting the traps. Diamonds in the coal chute. The dock of the bed to find diamonds. Nope. No diamonds in the coal chute. You never know. Alright. And continue with shall. It's the pantry! There are so many candles. I'm not even bothered putting them back anymore. <gasps> Yay, more fish! Oh. Yuck. So, not gonna pull myself up on that. Well, if we want on the way home, we can grab some duck. Depends what the missus wants. Alright, is this a dumb waiter? Okay, I'm going to assume this is the one to bring it down. Yes, okay. So it can go to three floors. No. Oh, Weaver's room? What? Is there a young lady in here that spins straw into gold? I'm asking for a friend. Also, I have some extra straw on me. Nobody. Well, this place has a lot of storage closets. Also, do I have a map? I do not. I do, it's just not on the map key. Um, yeah, infirmary is the, the lowest we can get. Wait. The cellar is the original church? Hmm. I'm glad I have that information. And it's written down. And I can carry it with me. Seems quite useful. Oh, back in the kitchen. Alright, there's one other door. Oh, wait, did I? Yeah, I did go in here. Oh, wait. Go down here as well. No more putting the lights out, unless I absolutely have to, because there's far too many candles. That's not a bad thing, it's just, why bother? Notice, this here's the well! Do not piss near it. If caught, Lieutenant Trumbull will put you to the hunting owls in the hills. You can piss all you want out there, until you freeze to death. Uh, um... There's bathrooms all over the place, why I I don't understand. And this just comes over the other side. Ah, so we've done one single floor. Two more to go. <laughs> and lots of puzzles later. Actually, I don't know how many. Uh, I don't know if, how long this is. this one's going to be. But uh, hopefully it's substantial. Hopefully it's substantial. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boy Lag. Signing off. Break, break, break.
Oh god! Uh. Close the damn door, please! Oh god, it scared the crap out of me! Wasn't expecting that! Come in! I mean, don't come in! 